the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Cassie Hyder. Well, good morning, everyone. Starting out with some rain and storms, but look at northern Oklahoma. We actually have lots of sunshine out there, but eventually the cloud cover should increase a little bit even for that part of the state. But here in central, southern, and southwestern Oklahoma, we have quite a bit of rain, even a few thunderstorms moving through, finally making its way into the metro, but lots of rain over Grady County, McLean, and Cleveland County. Some rain and storms right over just north of Hinton around Geary, moving into Greenfield. Also some showers in the far southwest, just south of Hobart, but zooming in a little bit closer, you can see See that rain it is trying to make its way into at least downtown Oklahoma City but some rain now moving into Yukon El Reno the Cherokee trading post seeing some rain but heavier rain across the far west well at least west of Highway 81 it's actually going up Highway 270 and Marty Logan you can see that storm tracker right yeah up there he's coming down Highway 270 he's going to catch those storms as they continue to try to make their way to the north also had a couple of showers just north of Stillwater it looks like those are pretty much going away looking at our hail detector we've had a couple of dime size help maybe within some of these stronger storms but even that's weakening not really expecting too much in terms of severe weather or even big hail today by any means but we could see maybe some areas of flooding within some of this rain now this is says six hour rainfall totals but a lot of this rain has actually fallen just within the past hour or two so one and a half inches just on the west sides of binger a little over one and a half just west of anadarko we've had anywhere from a half to almost a full inch just east and south of hydro this is our o triple c camera but of our pike pass sky chem network we certainly have some rain falling there 74 degrees a southwest wind right now at 14 miles an hour temperatures you can see they're a little bit cooler where we do have the rain so some low 70s still 74 in oklahoma city but lots of upper 70s even some low 80s across the east and off to the north right now that wind is generally out of the south and southwest between about 5 to 10 but we have some gusts a little higher than that within some of those thunderstorms so the big picture showing the moisture is going to continue to increase from the south and rain and storms will continue this afternoon and into early evening as it continues continues to move from west to east across the state and after today you know tomorrow looks pretty quiet but we do have a couple weak waves moving in by Saturday that's going to at least bring a slight chance of rain and storms primarily early in the morning if you're worried about the OU game I really wouldn't be at this point it looks dry during that time Sunday and Monday look warm and sunny so perfect for a Labor Day weekend as we get into the rest of next week though it looks like we're gonna have a couple of weak waves move in they're gonna bring a slight chance of rain and storms here and there the pattern continues to stay a little unsettled and by the time we get to almost mid-September at least at this point it is looking like we could actually have a cutoff low to the south and west as some rain across parts of the state and that would allow for some cooler weather to move in so today, shooting for high of about 80 degrees here in Oklahoma City because the rain, it is moving in. But the upper 80s and low 90s across the north, we probably won't get out of the mid and upper 70s in southwest Oklahoma for this afternoon. Rain and a few storms certainly likely across central, south central Oklahoma, and of course the Stillwater game. I think the pregame or tailgating we're going to have that chance of showers, but as the night wears on, that chance of rain is really going to go away by halftime. Temperatures in the upper 70s, mostly cloudy skies by the fourth quarter. Temperatures in the mid 70s, and we should still be under partly cloudy skies. So for this evening, just a slight chance of rain in Oklahoma City. The chances will increase in the east and southeast. Kind of the same thing for overnight and into tomorrow morning as temperatures drop down into the upper 60s and low 70s. Tomorrow afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds and highs back in the low 90s, but mid 90s really all across the western half of the state. Tomorrow afternoon, I don't have any rain in Oklahoma City, but there's still a chance we have some lingering rain and storms across the far east. Saturday morning, right now some of the data trying to bring in a cluster of storms in north central Oklahoma. They're going to make their way to the south and west. Just a slight chance some of that does make it into Oklahoma City, but by Saturday afternoon, it looks dry for most of us, really just a slight chance across the south and the east, but a little bit better chance we actually still have some rain Saturday afternoon in the far southwest. So by Saturday afternoon, temperatures back in the upper 80s, upper 80s and mid 80s across the far east, kind of the same thing out to the west, a little hotter across the north where we haven't really had a whole lot of rain as of late. So Monday, Labor Day, looks like it's going to be sunny and hot, highs in the low 90s, and we do have a couple of chances of rain and storms as we get into next week. All right.